What's up trading friends, welcome back to yet another video. In today's video guys, we're discussing VMAR and where I see this ticker heading on from here on out. Now this is a ticker which went on an absolutely killer of Iran guys from $2.69 all the way upwards of $5.35 levels. However, since then the stock has done a little bit of a pullback and came down to the $4.50 levels. But where is this ticker heading from here on out is the question which we're gonna be answering. So with that said, let's get into it. Now, as always, in order to predict where a ticker is headed, we first need to do some analyzing as to why the stock has even gotten to where it's at right now. In the case of Vimar, did the company go ahead and cure cancer? Did the company go ahead and freaking invent the new crazy thing? Or what, what is going on? What is going on, Vimar? Why is Vimar going crazy? Vimar had a reverse split. Who cares? Who cares? Nobody cares. Okay, the reverse split. This, but here's the thing. I'll tell you who cares. Other investors care. So that's why we should care. Ah, plot to us. You didn't expect that coming, huh? Let me tell you something. In the markets, right? One of my favorite books, guys, which I had read, which honestly changed everything for me as a trader and kind of put everything into perspective for me was the book Trade the Trader by Quintar. Okay. It's a very hard book to find in the markets these days. I think everyone's just because it's so popular and everything like that. Right. That is a book which I really, really liked. And then another book which I also really like is called A Mathematician's Guide to the Stock Market, okay? Read those two books and you will understand the psychology behind the markets and how the markets work. And basically what Trade the Trader says, it's in the name, is that as a good trader, you're more likely, you're, you're mostly playing other traders other than playing the stock which you're playing, right? And you need to know what pulls the emotional strings on other traders around the world to press the buy button and to press the sell button before they do it so you can go ahead and you know take money out of the pockets okay so with that said these days guys we're getting a massive massive new trend that all the freaking you know short squeeze uh, uh not short squeeze all the reverse split stocks are just going crazy out of nowhere right this is because people think that the, the float does shrink but people think that um the short interest and the longs kind of shrink differently which is not a thing some people are saying oh the stock gets a new uh cui speed number and the q or whatever you want to call it however you want to say it right uh the cu the cuisp is changing the stocks and it's causing the shorts to cover that's not a thing that's not a thing okay let me say something that's not a thing <laughs> okay it's really not however People are loving it, right? And this is kind of like about a month ago or so, right? Where all the Chinese stocks were going crazy. This is why you need to be active. This is why you need to be paying attention to market trends. You need to know what's going on in the markets that you're trading in. A couple of months before that, what was going crazy? A couple of months before that, you know, the market has these euphoric phases. And I don't think that it's fair to compare the Chinese euphoria, Chinese stock euphoria to what we're seeing right now when it comes to reverse splits and everything like that. I would say what's actually a better example of this is when all the ceos kept coming out and saying we are going to be using ev not ev we're going to be using ai in our company and the stock would shoot up which was just bs it was like why is this stock even going up okay they're using ai like what does that even mean they're asking chat gpt to freaking file their orders like what ai what ai could a freaking shoe making company use like what is going on right or before that, when all the CEOs would come out, and you know what they would say? I'll tell you what they would say. They would say, we are taking a hard stance against the naked shorting. And everyone would go, ah, buy, 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 <laughs> for no reason, right? So I guess what I'm trying to tell you is that this move is a convictionless rally. This is what we would call a convictionless rally in the trading world, meaning that it's literally got no backbone. It's running for no reason. And the stock which is going up for no reason, guess what? It's also going to come down just like that for no reason, right? Because the people that are buying this stock are only buying it because it's going up. Someone who buys a stock only because it's going up, what do you think they're gonna do when the stock starts coming down? Are they going to buy more because it's going coming down or are they gonna start selling because it's coming down? Mind you, they bought because it was going up. What are they gonna do because it's coming down? Ah, panic sell, panic sell, panic sell. And then what happens? We get these massive, all the, all the candles look like this, pump, dump. Pump down, pump down, right? Over and over and over again. Now, there are other reasons why I'm telling you guys to stay away from VMAR. And if you have a position in it, use this as a selling opportunity. And I know a lot of you guys are deep in the red, right? Look at this chart, right? And I think that, you know, so many people are like, you don't get the bigger picture. Buddy, is this the bigger picture you're talking about? Is this, is this your bigger picture? Right? And there's this great quote in trading, which goes, when in doubt, zoom out, right? So when in doubt, oh, is it going to go up? Is it going to continue going up? 
Nope, it's not. It has never continued going up in the history of ever. Okay. So for me, this sticker is a easy sell. It is an easy sell. Now, is it likely for it to come on test five dollars again? Yeah. Leave it alone. Sell. Okay. I'm telling you guys, it's not financial advice. It's your money. Buy here, sell there, sell there, buy here. I know I got my finance bro freaking vest on and I got my sexy rolly on, right? But I can't give you financial advice, unfortunately, right? Now, what I can do is I can make you an offer you can't refuse. Give me seven days, okay? Give me seven days, and if you're not a profitable trader or at least three times the trader you are today, you don't pay me a cent, okay? What am I talking about? I'm talking about our Discord. Guys, our Discord right now comes with a seven-day free trial, also with a 30 days money-back guarantee. No questions asked. Also, Black Friday's around the corner. So guess what? The next 10 people that join, 50% discount. It's how we do it, man. It's just how we do it. Guys, we have almost 300 members coming back month after month. Why do we have almost 300 members coming back month after month? Because people are making money. This was literally Friday, okay, October 11th. Uh, first week here, back in trading top trading economy, and I'm reminded why I never canceled my subscription. And then this month said, <laughs> actually for Kyle, but I'm very happy I did, okay? Look at this, right? One week, these are his results in his portfolio. Let's buy by the wild guys. We have options, as you guys can see, we have option alerts. We have swing trade alerts. We have alerts. We have freaking lessons. We have everything, okay? Everything, right? And uh, why do we give you guys a seven day free trial? Because of the Wilson experience, right? This is the most common thing we've seen. Wilson says, hi Sam, thank you for your hard work and all the community. My seven day free trial finishes, it was great. I think I can afford the membership this week. He made a thousand dollars a day in <laughs> his seven day free trial, okay? Check us out, man, check us out. I'm telling you, and today, of course, AJ Trades made a killing on our trades, on our option alerts. She's literally he new here and she made a killing. So check us out, man. I'm telling you, you guys will not regret it. And um, Andy says, yeah, thanks to be grateful. I cannot pay off my student loans. Check it out. Now, moving, going back to um, what we're talking about, about Vmar. Guys, the company's broke. This company got no money. Look at him. Look at this. Negative 0 0.7 months of cash left on hand. I don't know what you guys are saying. Oh, Sam, they had an offering. Okay. Three months of cash left on hand. whoop de doo whoop de doo Sooner than later, there's a company that's going to rock pull you. I'm staying away. I'm staying far, far away. I think you should use this as a selling opportunity. But again, what the heck do I know? Okay? I'm, I'm nobody. Okay? Do your, do your own thing. Do your own thing, bro. But I'll tell you guys something. Go on, go on the website right now. And look at the testimonials. They're real people. There's like video. Okay, it's not, it's not, you know what, fuck this chat thing. You guys are like, oh no, those are bots, probably bots, which is insane. To like, You got to be a crazy skeptic to think that all these people are, you know, bots. But anyways, go on the website, see people's real results. Scroll to the bottom, see my win rate for the whole year. And then listen to what I'm saying about Vmar. That's all, okay? I wish you guys the best of luck, man. Whether it's in trading or everyday life, thank you for watching. Have a good trading. Your boy Sam from Top Trade Academy.